Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to restore the Microsoft Update feature in Windows 7. Before we start the tutorial, I want to mention that I'm not responsible for anything that goes wrong to your system, and please proceed at your own risk. Damages to your system are possible, so I'd recommend trying this on a virtual machine or on an older PC that you aren't using. Now before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, as it helps out the channel a ton. So, for this tutorial, we need to have the Automatic Updates feature working in Windows 7. I've made a video on how to do that, and I'll leave a card in the top right hand corner of your screen, and I'll have the video linked in the description below. So with that out of the way, let's begin. So the first thing we need to do is we need to click the start button, and then click control panel. Then we need to click network and internet. Then we need to click internet options. Then we need to click the security tab. Then we need to click the trusted sites zone. Then we need to click sites. And then we need to uncheck require server verification HTTPS for all sites in this zone. I'll have them linked in the description below. Once we've added all the URLs, we can click close, and then we need to set the security zone to high. If you don't have this option here, then you need to click default level, and then set the security zone to high. And once we've done that, we can click apply, and then we can click OK. Then we can close out of the control panel, and then we need to open Internet Explorer. Then we need to click tools, and then we need to click compatibility view settings. And then we need to add the following URL, Microsoft.com. Then you can hit either enter on your keyboard, or you can click the add button. Then you can click close, and then you need to paste the following URL inside the Internet Explorer address bar. Once we've pasted it into the address bar, we can hit enter on our keyboard. If you're taken at this version of the website, then in the address bar, before default.aspx, we need to add the word vista before default.aspx. Once we've done that, we can hit enter on our keyboard, and there we go, we're now taken to the proper version of the Microsoft Update website. So once we're on this page, we need to click I agree to the terms of use for Microsoft Update, and then we can click next. Click use recommended settings, then click install. If you get a user account control pop-up, click yes. And there we go, we've successfully installed Microsoft Update. After we've installed Microsoft Update, Windows Update will start to check for updates, but this time we'll receive updates for Windows and other products from Microsoft Update. And on this Windows 7 system, I've installed Microsoft Office 2010, so we should see some updates for Microsoft Office 2010. And there we go, we've now detected 178 updates and 42 optional updates. So let's see what updates we've detected, and let's see if we have any updates for Microsoft Office 2010. So there we go, we do have updates for Microsoft Office 2010, and we also have updates for Windows 7. So to install the updates, we can make sure they're all checked, and then we can click OK, and then we can click Install Now. So there we go, that's how to restore the Microsoft Update feature in Windows 7. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like my videos, share them with your friends, and let me know in the comment section down below if this worked for you. Thanks for watching, and hope you have a great day.